Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mike D. And you're watching the dark side of entertainment. Tonight's headlines, Chris Brown and Rihanna. That's right, Chris Brown reportedly got into an argument with his superstar girlfriend Rihanna over the weekend and it ended up horribly wrong. Allegedly, after Rihanna woke up in the passenger side of the rented Lamborghini, she looked in the rearview mirror, saw that she had a split lip, a bloody nose, scratches on her face, and several bright marks. Brown was nowhere to be found. The next time anyone saw Chris Brown in public was in the back of his attorney's Mark Garagos' truck while he turned himself in to the police. By the time Chris Brown was processed and released, his major milk commercials and double mint commercials were pulled from air, along with major radio play from the radio stations. It doesn't look good. Oh, and to top it all off, Jay-Z is looking for Chris Brown too. For more insight on this story, let's go to Pepper 808. Pepper? I'm still trying to get over this whole Rihanna and this Chris thing. But a music foretold their story, how Rihanna was coming out that she was a dirty little freak. Talk about, you can always get under my umbrella, you know what I'm saying? But then Chris Brown came with the follow-up, you will always be my Cinderella. And you know Cinderella used to get beat, so we should have got some clues from that at the very beginning. Listen to the music, people. It was telling us all along, he need help, she need help, they all need help. <laughs> In other news, oh, this is a doozy. The stepson of the world-renowned pastor T.D. Jakes, Jermaine Jakes, was arrested, get this, while masturbating in a gay park while trying to pick up men. Okay, let's, let's let that sink in for a minute. What can I say about this? The police report is very graphic in detail. I mean, what what do you say to your stepson if you're you're, you're Mr. Poppers? I mean, I would love to have heard that conversation. I mean, what, I think it would have been something like this. I mean, isn't there a scripture for that? Thou shalt not jack off in front of the law in a gay park for looking for men. I mean, it should be there. It should be there. That's not in there. That that definitely should be in there. Oh, and also, um, why is there a gay park blocks away from the Potter's House Church? That's yeah, that's another thing. Uh, what do you got to say about this, Pepper? He always been in trouble. He another dirty little freak. Oh, dirty freak, dirty, nasty. Oh, I can't even talk about him. All I got to say is, you need Jesus. Finally, we bring you this. Sure, it didn't sound like she wanted to when she said it about B, but Etta James says that she was joking when she said she couldn't stand Beyonce and that she would whoop her ass for singing and performing her song at last at the presidential ball for Barack Obama. James told the New York Daily News that she really didn't mean anything by what she had said at the concerts last week and that she's always had that comedian kind of attitude and that's what led to her comments. But it's too late. Don King has not stopped contacting Beyonce or Etta James. He's trying to promote the biggest fight in history called the Diva vs. the Giza. Tickets are online now and we'll keep you updated on sales. They're going for $500 apiece. I'm Mike D. You've been watching The Dark Side of Entertainment. Stay tuned.